Ever wondered about that old adventure movie with Sean Connery and Michael Caine? It's about two British soldiers who go on a crazy journey in a far-off land to find fame and fortune. Directed by John Huston, it's full of action, funny moments, and serious stuff too. Did you know Sean Connery did his own stunts? Filming in Morocco wasn't easy either, with lots of challenges. The movie talks about big ideas like power and friendship while showing the soldiers dealing with their dreams and what happens when they come true. Share your stories about this classic film with us. We want to hear your memories and experiences. So, get ready for an adventure with the man who would be king. Adventurers and enthusiasts worldwide were enthralled by a certain movie released in 1975. Its adventure storyline and memorable characters left an indelible mark on popular culture. The film gained widespread acclaim, hailed as a classic adventure story with stellar performances and an engaging narrative. Following its release, the movie inspired various adaptations across different mediums, including stage productions and radio dramas. Its themes of ambition, friendship, and the pursuit of power resonated with audiences globally. Spin-offs and merchandise such as books and posters further contributed to its popularity. Even today, references to its unforgettable scenes and memorable lines continue to appear in modern media. The movie's enduring tale of adventure and ambition continues to captivate audiences worldwide. In summary, this influential piece of cinema has left a lasting impression on popular culture, inspiring adaptations, merchandise, and enduring references. In the realm of cinema, unexpected twists often shape the paths of actors and their projects. One such example involves a desire harbored by a renowned actor during the 1970s to portray a Shakespearean character on screen. However, this ambition was put on hold due to a rival adaptation of the same play. Meanwhile, his co-star from a previous film embarked on a delightful cameo in a beloved holiday movie. Surprisingly, a British film magazine conducted a poll criticizing the accent of the actor's performance in a particular film, marking an unconventional critique in cinematic history. Despite this, both actors left a lasting impact on the industry, showcasing their versatility across various genres and styles. These stories highlight the interconnected nature of the film world, where unexpected encounters and deferred dreams contribute to the rich history of cinema. The actors in question certainly navigated through these twists and turns, leaving their mark on the industry. In 2002, Christopher Plummer received the first Jason Robards Award for Excellence in Theater from the Roundabout Theater. He shared this moment with his co-star from The Sound of Music, Dame Julie Andrews. Plummer's acting journey began with his first paid role in Machina Infernal alongside William Shatner, whom he later reunited with in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. Between his roles in Beginners and all the money in the world, Plummer experienced a six-year gap without an Academy Award nomination. These milestones highlight Plummer's diverse career in the entertainment industry. Two years before landing his role in the movie, Michael Caine became interested after reading about it. He thought it was impossible for new actors to get a part because of how big the project was and the famous people involved. But then things fell into place and he got to play the character he had dreamed of. The movie's main song, The Moran or The Minstrel Boy, is loved by many for its touching music and meaningful words. It's sung by characters Daniel and Peachy, adding depth to key moments in the story. Surprisingly, the lyrics are from a Christian hymn written by Reginald Heber, showing how the movie combines different things to tell a story. Sean Connery, a well-known actor, considered his role in this movie as his favorite. His acting made the character more interesting and left a strong impression on people all over the world. The Man Who Would Be King is still loved by movie fans for its exciting story, great acting, and timeless messages. In considering potential roles, Michael Caine was initially offered the part of Arthur Seldom in a 2008 film, which eventually went to Sir John Hurt. Meanwhile, Sean Connery declined the opportunity to portray Gandalf in a notable film series due to reluctance to spend extended periods filming in New Zealand and a lack of understanding of the novels. This decision reportedly cost Connery an estimated $450 million. Moreover, Kane was under consideration for several roles initially meant for Connery in other films such as Highlander, The Name of the Rose, and The Avengers. These deliberations shed light on the dynamic casting choices made in the film industry. Michael Caine, known for his roles in various films, was considered for a part in a 1989 production, but lost it to Ian Hogg. His journey to stardom began with a role in a 1966 film rejected by James Fox. Additionally, before gaining fame, he declined a role in a 1962 television series to avoid being typecast, with Jeremy Kemp eventually taking the part. 
These decisions shaped Kane's career path, showcasing his strategic choices in pursuing roles. He navigated through opportunities, making calculated decisions that ultimately contributed to his success in the film industry. Sean Connery, one of four Scottish actors nominated for an Academy Award, remains the sole winner among them, clinching the honor for his role in The Untouchables. Michael Caine, known for his role in the film, holds If by Rudyard Kipling, the author of the original story, as his favorite poem. Freemasons, like the characters in the story, employ a grip rather than a handshake, emphasizing its significance. These details offer insight into the background and influences shaping the characters and themes within the narrative. In The Man Who Would Be King, Sean Connery portrays King Daniel Drava, one of four kingly roles he has undertaken throughout his career. His on-screen partnership with Sir Michael Caine isn't new. They first shared the screen in Requiem for a Heavyweight. The duo's camaraderie continued in a bridge too far. Interestingly, Connery's Bond legacy lacks a skiing adventure, unlike his fellow Zoom 7 actors. While Goldfinger flirted with the Swiss mountains, the snow and ski scenes were reserved for other Bonds George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, and Pierce Brosnan. Connery's diverse roles and collaborations enrich cinema history, making his absence from ski scenes in Bond films a distinctive note in his career. In 1975, a movie came out starring two famous actors, Michael Caine and Sean Connery. Michael Caine, who was ranked as one of the top movie stars in 1987, was part of the cast. Sean Connery, known for playing James Bond, made people think his character in Michael Bay's The Rock might secretly be Bond. Some fans thought Captain John Patrick Mason could be Bond in disguise because of hints in the dialogue and references to Bond movies. When director John Huston was struggling to find an actress for a key role in The Man Who Would Be King, he met Michael Caine's wife, Lady Shakira Caine, at a dinner. Impressed. He immediately cast her for the role. These interesting facts about the actors and the casting process make the man who would be king even more captivating, showing how talent and chance come together in movie making. Sean Connery faced controversy in 2005 when a proposal to rename the Edinburgh Film House after him was rejected due to his tax exile status. In the opening scenes, Christopher Plummer's character discusses the Freemasons and the all seeing eye of God, a theme echoed in National Treasure where Plummer portrays a character explaining the same symbol on the U.S. dollar bill. Michael Caine, reflecting on his role in The Ip Chris File, expressed a desire to play the lead, inspired by his admiration for the character Harry Palmer, two years prior to being offered the part, though it was uncommon for lesser-known actors to secure such roles at the time. 